veg. Go green. Save the planet. When you're born a twin in Hollywood, you're born with tap shoes on and pigtails, and you're already, you come out of the womb that way, you know. Welcome, magnificent viewers. Today and over the next two episodes of Vegetarian Elite, we have the pleasure and honor of sharing the life of vegan Hollywood actress, stunt woman, and bodybuilder, Spice Williams Crosby. We'll hear about her life as an actress, see her in action weight training and teaching defense, attend an audition with her, and get a glimpse into her family life, including talks with her son Luke and her husband Greg Crosby, the first grandson of the legendary Bing Crosby. My twin sister and I were always performing. Uh, and as I got older, I uh, would record my favorite movies. I memorized everything Joan Crawford said, Agnes Moorhead, Betty Davis. Um, I went through drama. I sang in the choirs. Um, and then I got into dance, competitive gymnastics. Um, I loved it. And then I got um, a call one day to go on the road as a musician. And they were looking for two twins that could sing and dance in a group. My twin sister sang and played really great guitar. And, um, and I was on the piano doing all the wild and crazy numbers. That's why they said, oh, you're the spicy one. But, um, but the arts have always been in my soul. After 10 years of traveling on the road as a musician, Spice decided it was time for a life change. So I said goodbye to my twin sister and her husband and the group. And I said, I'm going to go back home to Los Angeles and I want to act. I'd be combing my hair, getting ready, using the brush as a microphone. <laughs> and I'd be like, thank you for this Academy Award. And I was already feeling this tremendous need to break away and evolve. So I came home and I was signed with 20th Century Records as a staff songwriter. I actually had six songs that won the American Song Festival and I had one song that hit uh, 23 on Billboard and I was a pretty good songwriter at the time but I wanted to act and I got into my first acting class with the world famous Jeff Corey acting teacher. So there I am, I'm an actress and I'm bodybuilding. My girlfriend said, let's learn how to wrestle. We could make money wrestling. And I'm like, oh, okay, what's that? <laughs> so I went to this woman, Mildred Burke, world-renowned, 5,000 undefeated matches, female wrestler. So uh, she taught me how to wrestle. Well, one day I got a call saying that they were looking for an actress who could wrestle. Mm. And they came out and watched me, and they hired me on Fall Guy. And I was playing Rico's Rockets on Fall Guy, and, um, and the stunt coordinator was the famous Judo Jean LaBelle. And he was a world-renowned Judo, represented um, America in five times with Japan. And then he also was a world-renowned wrestler. So that's why he was teaching us how to do this wrestling thing. And he said to me, you know, he talked with this gruff voice. He go, you'd make a good stunt woman. So I went out to his dojo. I learned how to hit the ground, do stair falls, ride motorcycles, flip guys, fight them, all kinds of things. And all of a sudden, I was being asked to work because I had the muscles, I had the physical fitness, and I could act. And from one show to the next, to the next, to the next, I was working a lot. And uh, I worked with some great people, from Rock Hudson to Sir Lawrence Olivier to Tony Curtis, Roddy McDowell, Herschel Bernardi, Polly Bergen, Lee Grant, some of the old times, um, and some of the great new timers, uh, and just fun people.
So tonight, I have an opportunity to do Steve Nave's Actors Workshop. And what's so exciting is like working out in the gym, I get to be an actor to work out in a workshop. So this way, when you're getting a chance to meet casting directors, I, I bring my picture, my resume, they get a chance to see what I can do and, and meet me. And then the next time they have a big famous movie or TV show and they have to cast someone like me, they remember meeting me and uh, it's really exciting. So come on, let's go and enjoy the night. Hi, I'm here with Steve Nave and this is his Actors Workshop. <laughs> Spice, it's a pleasure to have you here. We have a, a great uh, workshop we've been doing for 17 years now, and uh, you've been coming to it for many years, and uh, started off a good actress, and you've even gotten better as time has gone by. And I know with all your talents, your veganism, and your martial arts, and your acting, and your stunts, it's a, you're a great addition to our workshop, and we have some terrific actors tonight, and um, we have great guests. Each workshop, we bring in a different guest. Tonight we have the casting director from Desperate Housewives, and they also do a show called Gigantic. Spice Williams Crosby has been involved in the entertainment industry her whole life. For almost 30 years, she has worked extensively in film and television as an actress, stunt double, or directing the stunts herself. Among the movies she has appeared in include Star Trek V, From Dust Till Dawn, Spider-Man, Mission Impossible 3, For the Love of the Game, and Million Dollar Baby. She has also made guest appearances on popular television shows like Seinfeld, Star Trek Voyager, Roseanne, Days of Our Lives, Buffy, Melrose Place, Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, and Scrubs. Okay, I'm going, I'm playing Nurse Parker from Desperate Housewives. So I'm going to go do my scene. See you in a little bit. Bye. Yeah, in Honolulu. She's been on vacation for a week. Can I help you? That's it. You have to leave. You're disturbing the other patients. Well, I just finished my little thing on stage, and uh, I think I did okay. I don't know. We'll see. But the casting director's from uh, Desperate Housewives, which is a really popular TV show. And hopefully she'll like me and call me in for a show. So it's all good. As my Aunt Dodo used to say, no effort ever goes unrewarded. So I'm happy I did it. Time to put on your workout clothes and running shoes. When we return, Spice is going to take us to the gym. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. You're watching Vegetarian Elite. What some people don't know about me is that I was the first vegan bodybuilder who squatted 315 pounds and benched 235 pounds, all animal free. And I did all this being a vegan. <laughs> 